Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I've got a special treat for you today, as my book will be on general sale in a few weeks' time. It's actually already available on Amazon. I thought I'd give you a glimpse behind the scenes of making furniture hacks. When I got commissioned to make furniture hacks, I started a lot of research. I spent hours behind the computer making mood boards, coming up with projects, making drawings, and working everything out to the very last detail before I started building. For example, this is the bookcase project you can find in the book. It's a really nice modular bookcase. So once I did all the dimensions, I got the root and I started building the bookcase. Once it was built, I painted it all white and I styled it for the picture. As you can see, I filled it with nice props to make it really look like a bookcase in your living room. And then it's time to shoot. The amazing James Garner shot the whole book and once he set up his lights, and then the last week, it was time to get the image that you can find in your book. It's amazing how much stuff you need just to take one picture. See that massive light? It almost takes up my whole living room. This is what my dining room normally looks like, nice and nautical. But for an image in a book, I really want a different feel. So I put a temporary floor down and some brick wallpaper just to get a different look for the shot. Sometimes the styling takes quite a bit of time just to get it right, as you can see in these images. Props being moved about, curtains added just to get the right feel for the shot. This, by the way, is the Table Runner project you can find in the book. I will let you in on another little secret. This beautiful blue floor you see on this footstool project is in fact a pallet resting on a box. But hey, who is to know? It gives an amazing shot. So when all 35 projects were shot, these are my quirky candlesticks, by the way. It was time to edit all the images and for James to do the necessary tweaks. Then it was back behind the computer for me to write all the step-by-step -step tutorials. The amazing editors and designer at Seco then turned all these images and text into the Furniture Hacks book. So now you know what went on behind the scenes of Furniture Hacks. And you had a glimpse of some of the projects you can find in the book. So actually keep an eye on this channel, because in a few weeks time, especially for you viewers of Handmade Home, I'm going to post a full tutorial of all the projects in the book. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be back next week with a tutorial here on Handmade Home.